Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Exodus. With me, bring it on. Uh, so you may recognize that from yesterday's, or last episode. Uh, I had to restart the chapter because I somehow managed to bug up the, uh, bug out the triggers for the quests. There we go. And so I couldn't get the key to the van, so we we're gonna have to walk everywhere. And it also uh, caused me to miss a, uh, a moral point, which I wasn't a big fan of. So yeah, and I'm also gonna try and use a TR uh, some more. I made some ammunition for it. So we have plenty of shots. I'm gonna just kind of run through this real quick. It's definitely telling me this guy has stuff on him. There we go. Just had to get in the van a little bit. I did some exploration. I actually tried recording the episode, and then I realized that the uh, game had bugged out. And decided to just restart the chapter, so... There may be some inconsistencies. All right. I've already explored all these areas um, off camera when I was trying to uh, record the new episode, but so, yeah, I had somehow managed to skip the entire first quest, and uh, Demir had come on the radio and told me to go to the lighthouse, which is, I guess, the next objective, which is not what I want to do. Let me run or jump. Which is not what I wanted. I wanted to actually jump through there. Alright, I did not reveal this area on the map like I was trying to do. Should. Wasn't that a. Oh, there we go. It's marked on the map now. Alright. So basically, since I circumvented this entire area, I never triggered the sandstorm, which caused this entire quest to bug out. And I missed it. So if you watch, you should be able to see some gunshots in the window here. Yeah. Oops, I keep doing the same thing. Okay, I gotta put a gas mask on for the sandstorm. It's treated like radiation. Alright, there we go. Take care of all those mutants because I don't feel like uh, fighting them individually. There we go. The guy that's supposed to have the key. Coming here. All right, and then you want to hit the uh, interact button, the X button, or the uh, E button, or E key to knock him out and spare his life. All right, so I'm going to grab the shambler, make sure that it's in my uh, inventory or armory.
go ahead and kill him. Not what I meant to do. Well, that's a big old waste. Uh, that's alright, now I gotta remap out the uh, desert real quick. So pardon me while I do that. Shouldn't take too long. I hear them, I don't think they're climbing up here. So we should be okay. But in case they do... I think we're good for now. Let me check my map real quick, see if it looks about the... Yeah, it looks about right. Alright, so now we have the key. We can go down to the van and uh, actually... Progress the, uh, the quest. I'm just going to make a dash for the van. I have driven the van already. Uh, this is actually the third time I've restarted this chapter. You get an achievement for just uh, driving the van. If you're worried about that. So, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. Yeah, so what doesn't make sense to me is somehow, since I missed all these triggers here, he told me that on the radio. I don't remember if it was actually last episode or if it was off camera. But he... He told me that. Um... I thought there was a building over here that had loot in it. I might be mistaken. It actually might be <laughs> this way. That's that shack right there. So let's go grab that, then we'll get in the van, and then we'll start doing some exploration before we head to the lighthouse. Hopefully I don't skip any more sequences. We listened to that last episode, so not too worried about that. <laughs> oh, some loot over here. Oh. Alright, oh yeah, and there's snakes as well. 
uh, keep an eye out for those guys. They don't kill you outright, but they do poison you, and it, uh, it'll go away over time. You don't have to heal or anything. Uh, it does slow you down. And I think that's really it. It slows you down, and I think it does a little bit of damage to you, but the damage dissipates. But here we go. We got ourselves a van. So I don't have to walk everywhere. Which is my primary concern, was having to walk everywhere. Now we can drive. First things first, we go loot this dock that was over here. I can make it through here? Probably not. <laughs> Alright. Some strong chain link, chain link fences. Alright, loot this dock, and then, uh, I'm not sure what. I might go to the east and explore the uh, area that's all the way out there. There's also those other ships that I want to explore. Uh, I never did get on in that one ship off camera. I tried that, and then I tried recording today, and I realized I never got the key to the van, and I looked it up. And it's because uh, I was just to get it from that bandit that I took out. So first things first, let's go uh, check out these ships again. I won't spend too much time there, so we can uh, explore another area before. Too long. Oh. <laughs> I'd like for you to climb up this. Thank you. We go some looty booty. Oh, wait, wait. Still beeping. I'm sorry. What are you beeping at? I remember there being another uh, thing on this boat. I guess it might be underneath it. I just can't get to it. Which is fine. I'm not going to stress about it. Alright, we'll go ahead. We'll go to that area on the map. There was that other boat, I think, over there to the left. It had some loot in it. Alright, so I can't make it up the inclines like that. That's fine. I'm learning. I wonder if there's a uh, fuel management for this. Was it this boat that had stuff in it, or was it... Yes, it was. It was this boat. Speaking at something else, what else is there? Alright, well, I'm not going to stress. Just keep on moving. Alright, let's go to that eastern uh, location. I want to avoid these uh, pools of oil. Can. On the right track, kind of. So the other side of this lake, it looks like. Or oil pool. Also, I saw that over there. We're gonna check out that big old tanker in a second. It's a 
demon flying around above me. Oh, is it a demon nest? Is that what I'm supposed to... No, it's just further ahead. I just got hit by the demon. Oh gosh, yeah. go this far away from my van. Uh, it'll be fine. Old bridge here. I don't think there's a way for me to get up there, though. Not sure why he's attacking now. Guess it is down there, or maybe it's underneath the ground. I'm standing directly on it, whatever it is. I'm gonna check out this uh, plateau. So it looks like there's something on top of it. Oh gosh! It scared the crap out of me. It was not flying towards me a second ago. Jeez Louise. Yeah, Tihar is probably not the best uh, weapon to be using against the uh, demon. If I was using the uh, explosive ammunition. Oh, there we go. Sucker. Alright. I just want to go check out that boat that's across these oil fields. And I have explored it, kind of. I started exploring it, and then the game crashed. And then I restarted the chapter because I realized I wasn't recording. That's why I've restarted it three times. Not just twice. Because I found the diary that's over there. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. Way inside there. All right, so the diary was sitting right here on this table uh, last time I came in here. I don't think there's any loot to be found. So let's go ahead and read that. Diary fragments. You can easily get used to the sound of those geysers. They're not really that loud. When I made some earplugs, I started sleeping like a baby. 
The main advantage of the place is that none of the Baron's dogs would even think of coming here. Compensates for a lot in my eyes. Just in case, though, I finish installing a zipline in the morning. Having a quick escape route never hurts. Gotta take a leak tonight. Heard something scratching the metal somewhere down in the hold. Took my gun and went there, but only saw it scamper behind the containers. A darn spider. Now, I'd only just made myself home here. These pests will ruin the place. I'll try to burn their butts out tonight before they multiply. They're tough to kill with bullets, but at least they hate light. If you manage to get the bastard into a lit spot and it has nowhere to run, it dies right there. Great. I hate dealing with spiders. Alright, so I haven't actually been down here yet. Let's see what it's all about. It all happened so fast. We didn't even have time to abort on load. Storm wasn't even that strong at first, but uh, you know, then it picked up. Boy, did it pick up. We started adding more mooring lines, but then the gangway got torn off. It kind of died down by the morning, but the comms were off. And then while we were running about, looking at the damage, the water kind of ebbed down, sandbanks all over the place. Well, as soon as we cast away, we ran aground. Big time. Tried freeing ourselves and got gouged on the rocks. Badly. The only good thing was that there was not enough water left to sink you. The combs were still off, and it wouldn't be much use anyways. No tug could get us out now. Looks like we're all alone here. And there's more oil spilled around us than water now. So that explains why all the oil is out there guys ring up. Alright, so I don't know how to actually change my uh, my ammo type. Because <clears throat> I'd like to use the explosive rounds with the uh, the T-Har for the... Oh, I'm not looking forward to going down here one bit. Alright. down there. Okay. Can't say I'm really looking forward to going down here. There they are. Oh, they have ranged ones? Son of a gun. It's so dark in here. So there's a ranged one on the wall over there. That guy. It's <coughs> another one. Oops, I mean, turn off my flashlight. Don't want that. I'm gonna risk making a med kit real quick. Door on the back side, okay. Cool. I hear another one running around. Let's get out of here. Screw that. Alright, so I saw the door. Can I open this up? 
Nope. Saw the door on the far side. He mentioned there was a zip line in his diary. How do I get to it? Oh, it's further up. Okay. Further way than I'd like. I'll, I'll circle back around and get to that other door. <laughs> Snake right there. It's also that up there. Hey. Never mind, it's just... Alright, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and leave that on. Hopefully it inconveniences these spiders a little bit. Yeah, so you can't get in that way. That's fine. Can't burn that. Also fine. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. Where that spider comes and gets me. Okay, well. That was miserable. Let's go get in the van and uh try to make it to the next area, I suppose. I still don't know what that area just north of me is supposed to be. It still hasn't been revealed. Even though I was over there. I'll give it one more shot. See what it's all about. Can't see crap. There we go. Never did check out that uh, thing over there. I'm curious now, what is uh. Yeah, it definitely looks like a demon nest, and we killed the demon, so let's go see if we can. if there's any loot up there. Also, we can head up here. There we go. This is revealed on the map now. Oops. Okay. 
We got a few more places discovered. Or at least one more. Or two. Alright. Uh, where's my last nine minutes ago? Okay. Well, I hope the autosave starts working. Let's go check out the, uh... The demon nest. Alright, not a whole lot there. Let's uh, get back to the car. Or the van. The shaggin' wagon. Got quite a story about that uh, that phrase, shaggin' wagon. Almost got burned at the stake for, for using it. Because someone might have been offended. In the Marine Corps of all places. <laughs> Alright, what I'll do is probably head up like... I don't know, I kind of want to go to the west here. Let's go to that one that's a little bit northwest of us, see if it uh, auto-saves when we get there. So I'm just looking for an auto-save now. Hopefully there's a safe house. Oh gosh, we're being swarmed. You guys want some of this? Bring it on. Oh no. Get in. Yeah, screw that. Didn't discover it. Come on. Can I put up my inventory while I'm in here? I cannot. There we go. It's been reviewed. Alright, I'm just working for an autosave now. Since autosaves can be a little finicky, I'm gonna just keep recording until uh, I find one, because it might require me to continue the story, which sucks. It might take a while. Because I'm still exploring. Alright, a little more northwest. If I can find a uh, safe house, to sleep. It's gonna crash. It has crashed on me a couple of times now. Was a pretty big area to explore. There's another ship up there. Really want it to save. 
Not a big fan of, even though it is the hardest difficulty. Not a big fan of how there isn't like an autosave option. If you have to stop playing, I mean, I don't want to have to replay 21 minutes, which was the case yesterday. Uh, just because it doesn't want to give me a quick save. Sorry, not autosave option. It has an autosave option. It doesn't have a quick save option. Oh my goodness, I'm about to die. That was a cliff right there. Not looking forward to uh, that. It's crazy because in uh, the Volga there were just a ton of safe houses, but I can't find one here. It's just a little more generous with its auto saves. I just leave the van here. I'll go up to this, uh, this area. Hope that it's. Hope that it's a safe house, and um, at least give me an auto save. I mean, that look has a the look of a safe house, right? You know, except for the demon. He doesn't seem too safe. I mean, there's an arrow. Come on. Throw me a bone game. Come on, just throw me a bone. All I need... Yep, this is like a safe house. Good, I can sleep. I can save. It's just another way in. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna call it here. I'm gonna rest. Probably until nighttime. Which I think is to the right. And hope that it auto saves. That's the biggest struggle with me uh, doing this let's play. Is I don't I hate replaying like 20 or 30 minutes. Now granted I did restart the chapter uh, like three times. I'm trying to get this episode pushed out. It's crazy that I managed to Basically, sequence break the game. Are there any speedrunners out there? There you go. I already showed you how to how to do it. Uh, but not having the van, I feel like it would be a uh, detrimental to speedrunning. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, the next episode, we'll explore that uh, big ship that's directly ahead of us. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope to see y'all in the next episode.